Hello, this is Dennis Johnson. Today's exercise is entitled Triplet Roll Pyramid. We're in 12 8. We're playing one count of a roll and three counts of single strokes twice. The second line, we're playing two counts of roll, two counts of triplets, just hand to hand triplets, alternating strokes. Uh, third line, we're going to add another beat to the roll, so we're going to have three counts of a roll, and then one count of triplet alternating left, right, left, and then the last line is just straight triplet roll. Okay, so when we uh, make the transition from single strokes to double strokes or vice versa, we want to keep the hand motions the same and at the same speed. Okay, we don't speed up, we don't slow down, everything is consistent. All right, so now what we're going to do is put the music up, or what I'm going to do is put the music up, and we're at 128. 128. Here we go. And. Okay. Alright, so now I'll take the music down so you can see what the sticks are doing on the triplet roll pyramid. Uh, another couple of considerations. Make sure when you're playing the roll that your weak hand is at the same height as your strong hand. So you don't want to play the triplet roll. Or if you're left handed, you want everything at one height. Nice and full strokes and try to get those strokes up so that the roll is nice and solid. Not down here where it's going to become a buzz roll or crush it or rush it or drag it or whatever. Everything is. All right, and use a metronome when you're practicing. All right, triplet roll pyramid without the music up. Here we go. And we are at 128. Alright, so that's the triplet roll pyramid. Use a metronome, increase uh, the metronome, the tempo as you can. And make sure all your strokes are at the same height. Not one up here, one down here, or vice versa. Keep everything one height, nice and solid. Nice, big, open sounding rolls. Alright, till next time, practice your triplet rolls. Keep on drumming.